So a lot of people have these uh, zero gravity chairs. Um, they're uh, fabric uh, suspended by uh, like elastic cord, bungee cord type material. And one of the failure points is um, the key to the chair, and that's the, uh, the actual bungee or elastic cord uh, that runs on both sides that suspends the, the fabric. I'm going to teach you today how to fix this. Uh, this particular one is a Cabela's. Uh, they're all a little bit different. They range in price from anywhere from 40 bucks to 100, 120 bucks, uh, probably even more than that. Um, this one's a, we got it for $49, I think, on sale. I'm cheap. Um, it's a good chair. Um, so for a couple of bucks, I can, uh, I can fix it and, and keep it. So a few things you're going to need uh, to, uh, to make this repair are some zip ties. Just uh, whatever length you have, I've got some short ones here, you only need the short ones. Some type of knife, pocket knife, just a sharp knife. A lighter. Two 5 sixteenths uh, fender washers. So 5 sixteenths hole, and then they're about uh, inch, inch and a half diameter. and some 5 16 elastic or bungee cord. Um, I got this whole roll on Amazon for like 15 bucks and I've already done uh, four of these, uh, these sections already on different chairs. So I mean it's been, it's been worth the money. I mean it's probably about a three or four dollar fix every time you do one of these sections. So um, very much worth it. So we'll get to it. I'm going to set our materials out of the way here. So the zip ties um, are going to stabilize your chair and they're going to keep the correct tension. So you want to go through and place some zip ties. Doesn't really matter where, but just, just enough so that they're holding um, they're going to hold that material in the same spot so that when we pull, when we cut the uh, elastic out, it keeps the, uh, it keeps the fabric from um, zinging to the other side. be a little bit strategic about it. You want one at the end but you don't want one at the very end because that's where you're going to start um, winding your uh, your elastic. You're also going to want one um, or one or two right where the bend is just to keep it just to Make sure it's, it's stable. Okay, we got our zip ties in. So now that it's stabilized, you can uh, you can uh, go about taking out the elastic. You want to try to take it out in one piece so that you get the length that you'll need from your uh, from your new cord. Um, I don't. They're all probably different. There's a little keeper. There's a little keeper down here at the very end that you just want to cut off. So you just take your knife. Cut it off and that will release it. And then you just want to Pull the cord out, just unlace it all the way up.
it's out. So you can see how this, this thing fails. The outer coating gets worn off and you go down to the elastic. Um, this particular chair only has about a um, 3 8 cord. I'm replacing it with a heavier duty cord of 5 16 You need to make sure that the, uh, whatever cord you buy will, will pass through the grommets in the chair. So the change that I have from the 3 8 to the 5 16 um, is some places where um, the original manufacturer wrapped it twice, I, I only wrap it once. So um, saves a little on cord, uh, makes, a, makes it uh, a little stiffer I think. Um, so it doesn't bother me. Uh, so you just want to make sure you've got the right um, right amount of cord so you just take and, and measure it out to the original cord and this cord broke when I was taking it out so we'll just add that little bit on there and then I like to take another foot because uh, it's easier to waste it's cheaper to waste a foot than it is to waste uh, you know uh, if it's too short you can't cut it twice <laughs> and make it right so um, I like to have it a little bit longer it wastes it sometimes a little bit but uh, it gives you a little bit of cushion there so you just take your knife cut it and there you go there's your cord so the next thing you want to do is uh, prep your cord um, You'll need to um, take the frayed ends and, and melt them so that they don't uh, continue to fray. And then you're going to want to tie a knot in it. Make sure it's nice and tight otherwise it'll slip on you then you're going to take one of your fender washers and put it on just like that okay so the, uh, the next part is uh, pretty much uh, the main part anyway, the uh, winding the uh, cord uh, through the grommets and through the, uh, the keepers and what you want to do is kind of mirror what they've done over there so that it looks it looks the same so you kind of want to get that um, the difference in this will be um, their end stay uh, where our washer is um, they have it on the material I put it over on the keeper side so that uh, it's got something solid to pull against. want to kind of make sure you're maintaining tension because you're going to want to, it's going to be under tension and you want to keep your uh, elastic tight otherwise you won't have enough to get to the end and it'll end up just uh, getting loose on you
So as you get up to this point, it's pretty critical um, that you get it to pull the same way. So you want to match whatever pattern uh, they have on the original to, um, to what you're doing over here. This one has uh, a couple of turns and then there's a straight run uh, behind it to pull it and support it. Also at this point, you're going to want to make sure that the lower portion, um, that the tension is in there and then because once you get past this corner, um, you're not going to be able to adjust the tension down below. So this is the last wind, um, and I'm going to do a double here. I can make it because I want the washer to end up behind the keeper. again. So I've actually ended up with um, quite a bit more um, cord than I, I would have liked, but like I said, it's better than replacing, you know, coming up too short and you got you got four feet you got to do. So once again, I'm going to chop off the fuzzy stuff. We're going to insert our washer over the end. And what you want to do is you want to pull tension as much as you can and then knot it. Sure that nut's not, not going to come out. Pull it hard. Cut it off. And then you're just going to want to burn the end. So the last step is to uh, uh, cut off your uh, your zip ties and release the tension to the elastic. Make sure you don't cut your elastic. Wreck all your your hard work. So for about three or four bucks and 15 minutes of your time and uh, you, uh, you fix your chair just in time for a siesta.